What's going on, Quest Teens? Erwin here. I'm kicking off a new online series called Turn the Page to help you to have extraordinary faith and make fearless decisions. Ever talk yourself out of doing something you thought was too hard or better yet too scary? There's a famous children's book I used to read to my kids when they were small called The Monster at the end of this book. You might have heard of it. It focuses on the lovable furry old Grover begging the reader not to turn the page because a monster is at the end of the book. So Grover does everything to keep us from moving forward and looking ahead. But of course, the monster turns up to be none other than Grover himself. You know, this seems silly, but there's a timeless truth there. So whether it's trying out something new for the first time, beginning new routines and habits, going after a dream or a goal, or even just making new friends, we can all be our own worst enemy and talk ourselves out of some pretty amazing things that God has planned for us. Here's the good news. There's a guy in the Bible who also had to make some pretty fearless decisions that we can learn from by the name of Abraham. So join me in the book of Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 3 and it reads, The Lord said to Abraham, Leave your country and your people. Leave your father's family and go to the country that I will show you. I will build a great nation from you. I will bless you and make your name famous. People will use your name to bless other people. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. I will use you to bless all the people on earth. Wow, that's an amazing scripture. In the first book of the Bible in Genesis 11, we're introduced to an important person by the name of Abraham, whose name was Abram at the time, and God had a plan in mind and a big ask to make of Abraham. But God's plan had the potential to impact not only his life, but generations. Let's unpack these verses together. God's plan had three extraordinary promises to Abraham. Promise number one, the promise of a land. Abraham is called by God to leave all he knew and start over in a new land he's never been to before and to live among people he doesn't know. Abraham believed God and obeyed because he saw the vision of a future home for him and his future descendants. The next promise is the promise of a great legacy. This is where God changed Abram's name to Abraham, meaning father of many nations. You know, but at the time, the promise didn't seem like it made any sense because Abram was 75 years old and Sarah was way past her years of being able to have children. This is one reason that demonstrates how much faith Abraham had. He obeyed God and trusted his promise when there was no possible way for him to even know how God could make it happen. Yet he obeyed anyway. You know, today, Abram's name is famous as being linked to three major world religions and whose enduring legacy as the first to make a covenant with God. And the final promise was the promise of a blessing and redemption. This next promise goes beyond the nation of Israel, looking ahead towards the future of Abraham's seed and outsiders. You know, of all the things to know about God's promise to Abraham, this one right here was probably the hardest to execute. How would it be possible that all the nations of the earth will be blessed because of one person, Abraham. The fulfillment of this promise is fulfilled in Jesus himself. Because of Jesus and the sacrifice that he made, it is now possible that all nations of the earth can be blessed and God can fulfill this promise he made to Abraham. Let's flash forward to Jesus in the book of Ephesians chapter three, verses six, and Paul says, and this is God's plan, both Gentiles and Jews, who believe the good news share equally in the riches inherited by God's children. Both are part of the same body and both enjoy the promise of blessings because they belong to Christ Jesus. Wow. So here's the bottom line. Turning the page takes God's plan. So take some time today to reflect on this powerful truth. And here are a couple practical ways to help you do that. Turn the page by remembering God's plan requires trust. God may not be calling you to leave your country like he did with Abraham, but maybe God is calling you to do something that scares you or doesn't make any sense. But trust God's plan for your life and you'll be amazed how God is able to move and do in spite of your circumstances, just like he did with Abraham. Next, God's plan makes us a blessing. God blessed Abraham so he could be a blessing. God blesses you for the same reason. Whatever degree God has blessed you, you should in turn bless others. If God has given you more than enough, bless others with it. 
If he has given you athletic or creative ability, bless others with it. If he has given you the ability to learn and lead, bless others with it as well. Whether God has given you much or little, you should bless others with it. Don't overlook the promise of being a blessing to others. And then finally, God's plan has greater reach. God's plan didn't just include the nation of Israel. God had others in mind. God's plan is not just about us, but today through Jesus, you and I have the opportunity to extend grace and love towards others who are not like us and invite them also to experience the goodness of God for themselves. We can share the message of Jesus simply by living out for others to see and be changed by it. So I wonder today how you might be able to turn the page by embracing God's plan for your life. Just imagine how that might impact others at home, at your school, in the community around you, and the world. Here's my hope for you today. Whether you've been in church all your life or you're just getting started in your faith journey, is that you remember there was only one requirement necessary to see these promises of God in motion. And that was Abraham, Abraham had to move and go. He didn't have to work it out, figure it out, or hustle to make it happen. All he had to do was turn the page and go. This same truth applies in your life with the promises of God. It is up to God to make it happen. It is up to us to act in faith and obedience. So now I invite you to pray this prayer along with me to help you on your journey. Bow your heads with me. Father, help me to embrace your plan for my life. Help me to trust you by being a blessing and to have the heart for others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Now, if you've never made a decision to follow Jesus, I want to invite you to pray along this prayer with me to help you get started. Jesus, I need you. Come into my heart. Be Lord and Savior of my life. Wash me of all my sins as only you can. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer, you meant it with all your heart, congratulations and welcome to God's family and your new journey. We can't wait to see what God does through you. So that's all the time we have today. Quest Teens, text the words to the numbers on the screen for resources to help you in your decision and for ways to connect with us further. And remember, turning the page takes God's plan.